queuing up over there, good job, and send him. That one had a little extra bounce, a little extra tumble at the end, which is gonna make it easier. <laughs> hey, a boy, clutch! Ah, here, good, good job, good job, good job, and a fun bumper, there you go. Hey everybody, Ethan here with Standing Stone and we're back for another puppy update. Now you may be confused. Why do you have a short hair over here, eight months old thunder butt and a lab six month old clutch butt? I guess it doesn't sound as good as thunder butt, but uh, why do you have both of them together? We did a little poll and I asked, who should we do an update video with next? And everybody said, we wanna see both of them in a video again together. So guess what folks? We've got both of them. We're gonna be doing what is really ready for this guy to be moving into. And then we're gonna see if this guy over here, Thunder, can hack it. We're gonna be doing walking singles. I was talking to Bob with Lone Duck and I just wanna mention, he's got a little YouTube channel that you should check out. He's got some really great content on retrievers and it's actually what I'm utilizing as well as a, a quick phone call or here or there because I'm a patron for his Patreon account there, asking him what I should be doing next with this little dog. So we're gonna be doing walking singles and what this drill essentially is gonna look like is Jess, our bird tech over here, is gonna be rolling out and she's gonna be throwing marks because yes, this is a marking drill. We're gonna start with one fairly close. We're gonna go farther and farther away and see what we can build these guys up to. And then we're gonna end with a confidence booster on a short one. We've got Jess out there with a bucket of bumpers so that she can continue to help these guys anywhere they need it. And we have radios, baby. Oh yeah. <laughs> so that we can communicate well without having to yell over the wind. You guys ready? Let's get started. All right, so what we're doing here is trying to help him to understand a, how to cue off of our bird tech a little bit. He's gonna start picking up on this game. It's gonna be pretty cool. Um, but also, we're building his ability to mark. We have a very butched, if you will, field out in front of us. And then we're using DT Systems um, soft mouth training three inch bumpers. They're big, they're white, and that's to help him to be able to see them and be able to pick them up on the ground. This is easy stuff that we're hoping to build confidence and his ability to mark at further distances. This is gonna prevent that problem that a majority of young trainers, or not even young, but inexperienced trainers do with their retrieving dogs, and that's do everything from your own hand. That really limits, unless you're uh, super macho, I can only throw a bumper maybe 30 yards or so. So you really need the ability to extend those marks and you need help in order to do this. Go ahead and swing out here and take a look at um, our bird tech, this is gonna be our first setup. Now what we're looking for her to do is she's gonna get Clutch's attention and then she's gonna be throwing a nice arcing mark for him. She's got a second bumper in hand. Jessica, are you ready? Ready. All right, so I've got Clutch handheld just like we did in his last video here and Jess is gonna pull his attention. He's zoned in and let him go. That's awesome. You can see him break down just a little bit here. Okay, now, I don't know everything, but I've got an idea that that's going to be relatively not ideal. I think that she should have been able to throw that bumper a little sooner, but what we're gonna go ahead and do from there is work through it on the next one. Hey, hey, hey. Good, come on. Nice. He was looking like he had it all the way up to it, and then he saw Jess, cued off of her, ran over there, and we'll see what he does on this next one. We're gonna get rid of this bumper back here. All right, Jess, go ahead and move to the next one for us. She's gonna be rolling out and we're gonna give him basically a different look now. Now, as we're waiting, we want him to be cueing off of what's happening out there. 
I want this one to angle toward us. It needs the same height. It can't be in line with you, but it needs to come toward us a little bit so it's a smidgen shorter. Got it. All right, buddy. All right, as soon as he's pulling, focused, we wanted him, I let him go so that he can cue off of that and he's on it. Right. Oh, <laughs> right there. Atta boy! <laughs> Goodness. This is the level of driving desire I was looking for. Right here, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. Nice job. Nice job. Run and vibrate on the way back just to help cue him into us. Now we're gonna get rid of this one. Good job. That's a good hold, bud. That's a good hold. Let's get rid of this one. All right. We'll get set up for the third. It's important to continue to move these marks. You're not always throwing them, working them in the same spot, and you're changing distances. Uh, you can see we've got some different elevations out here. All of these things are gonna help him improve his marking ability. Good. You need to go ahead and throw this one out to your right. I'm not so sure if she forgot maybe her left from her right, but she was standing there. I was hoping it would have gone the other way so that we didn't have this suck in distraction here. Everybody's learning, that's okay. <laughs> Hey, right here. Clutch, clutch, clutch. Good. Oh, good. Nice job. All right, we can get rid of that one again. We'll get him set up for the last one. Now this one's ideally, it's gonna be a little bit shorter. It's gonna be a confidence building one. He did really well on the second one. He struggled on the first and the third a little bit. We wanna end with him doing really, really well on the last one. Now, I just noticed he spotted his pile of bumpers. That, I believe, will be a distraction for us, and we're gonna make him go away. This is a puppy yet, not a big dog. All right. Queuing up over there, good job, and send him. That one had a little extra bounce, a little extra tumble at the end, which is gonna make it easier. <laughs> hey, a boy, clutch! Ah, here, good, good job, good job, good job, and a fun bumper, there you go. Nice job, buddy, nice job, good, yeah, there you go, there you go, there you go, there you go, good. Work on that mouth a little bit too, good, nice, nice, nice. All right, folks, so we're gonna take a second here while Jess is coming in, come on in. Come on in, Jess. We're gonna take a second and talk about a few things that we did here. First of all, I want, um, I made a mistake on every single one. I didn't send him with his name. This is something that doesn't change a whole lot at this point, but it is important to start conditioning. I made that mistake, so we've gotta pick that up on my end. The next thing is to break down that first one, he struggled a little bit, and we're gonna have a little, chit chat Jess and I just to be on the same page with things, but we've got to get his focus pulled back to that bumper faster, whether that's with movement or with another bumper or something before he makes it all the way to her. That's the like least ideal next to him coming back to me, which we don't want. But he picked up the second one really, really well and he picked up the last one really, really well. It's a combination of timing of where the bumper's coming out needs to be far away from the mule and from Jess, and then as well as when he's focused on it, I need to be sending him. Both those things combined are gonna really help. We're gonna get Thunder out, he's a little older, also loves to retrieve, and we're gonna do this same drill with him. All right, so we have Thunder now, or his opportunity. Jess and I had a little powwow, and we're both going to try and improve on our aspect of things, but it looks like he's already queued in and ready to go. Good. Hey, now, good. I don't love the vocalization, folks, but we're gonna have to work through that differently. I don't wanna pull away from this mark. Good boy. 
keeping him from going back that way. Atta boy, just vibrate on the collar as a gentle reminder. Come on back, kid. Had a boy right here. Nice. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. All right, I'm gonna get that one out of here. All right, that looked really good, Jess. All right, we'll get this guy sent up. And I didn't send him with a name either. I screwed that up one more time. You ready? Yes, ma'am. Thunder. I sent him a little bit earlier that time, trying to prevent him from vocalizing. And we're gonna work on our steadiness and being quiet in another video, in other training sessions. We got Vibrate on again. This is that uh, MR1100 by DT Systems. We'll use this one a lot with our young dogs. a boy. Good, nice job, nice job. Now, this guy is about two months older, so we should see a little bit more drive and desire. Um, Jess, go ahead and move this one out a little bit. We're gonna challenge Thunder just a little bit more than what we did with Clutch because he's doing so well on these first two. Right there looks good. Go ahead and throw out the back of the mule, essentially. Does that make sense? I believe so. Out here. Yep. Hmm. And turn around. Thunder. I sent him just a little early before it actually hit the ground. If he breaks down, Jess is ready to help him. Looks like he overran it just a little bit. Now just let him work. He should get a little bit of wind advantage. And that was one thing that I forgot to talk about in the beginning stages of this. There it is. Atta boy, atta boy. Uh, we wanna do this with the wind at our back or with a crosswind, primarily so that the dogs are using their eyes to mark, not their noses to pull them into the bumpers. Atta boy. Nice job. That was really good, kid. That was really good. All right, we're gonna do one more. This one can come in a little bit like yours, perfect. We'll do one more confidence booster here. Uh, uh, uh. Thunder. Nice job, kid. Good boy. Good boy. Nice job. Nice job. We're gonna get rid of that. All right, come on in. All right, come on in, Jess. All right, everybody. There was a fun uh, walking singles drill with both Thunder and Clutch. You know, definitely both of them looked really, really good. Clutch, being younger, um, shows like he's got a little more room to improve. This guy's got a lot of retrieving desire as well and did a very impressive job on his first time with the walking singles drill. I'm excited to be able to do some of these drills and continue this with both dogs and be able to put a little more emphasis on some retrieving work with um, this versatile guy as well as continue to keep you updated on how Clutch is doing. Thanks guys for watching. I'm the guy with the pink gun. This is Thunder and Clutch is over there. Jess was our bird tech guy. Uh, excuse me. Jess was our bird tech today. Ha ha! This video's over. See you later. Mm -hmm.